Okay. Ah, oh, damn. I don't have a one... Only one person showed up. Uh, screen here. Do I have an Arkham Forge? Ooh, I do have an Arkham Forge thing here. So what we're gonna do is do that until Pat gets here and we can start. But for the time being, welcome back to Magic Mushrooms Mead. Um, if you don't know us and you're just showing up from something where Pathfinder 2 uh, actual play and we are going through the Bloodlords adventure path. Um, yeah, we're, we're trying for a campy horror, but uh, sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. We, uh, we make things too funny to be horror. Let's be honest here. <laughs> we make yeah. weird shit up to take all of the horror well, out of it. That's, that's what the camp is for. But sometimes we don't get that either. <laughs> um, so... We are also an Arkham Forge affiliate. You should see the video playing now um, about the Arkham Forge toolkit, which is the program that I use to make the maps that we use in game based on the maps in the uh, whatchamacallum. Oh, of course, I forgot to mute that. Um, so it is a single payment, no subscription fee. You can use it fully offline. Install it on an unlimited number of devices with a single purchase. Easily import and manage your own content. Build fully animated maps with real-time lighting. You can hook up a TV or projector to play in person. Manage your campaign with a robust linkable note system. Set the scene with immersive audio. Uh, you get a full commercial license for exported maps, as long as you have that license for your assets. And all of the official Arkham Forge assets are uh, commercially licensed, the ones that you're seeing now. As you can see there, it's also touch screen compatible for use with physical minis. So if you go to arkanforge.com and use code mushroom tips, one word, you can get $5 off of the Arkham Forge toolkit. Uh, select either the fantasy or sci-fi starter pack, which includes the toolkit itself, and either the fantasy essentials or sci-fi essentials content pack. Or you can get the ultimate bundle, uh, which includes the fantasy and sci-fi essential packs, and 32 gigabytes of additional mapping and audio content. There's also a 30-day free trial, so you can give it a test, see if you like it. Once again, that code is mushroom tips, one word. Um, we also uh, during the games, play, uh, um, use actually, tabletop RPG music. Uh, the playlist in our Foundry uh, thing here, uh, aside from the official ones from the Adventure Path, are from tabletop RPG music. Check them out at patreon.com slash tabletop RPG music. Close that, and is your camera having some trouble, or apparently? <sighs> make sure, make sure the cap didn't uh, unplug it. Like yeah, no, it's says. it's plugged in right in front of me. Yeah, no, mine's right in front of me. So <laughs> I well, just blew not my ears up. <laughs> oh, that's dark today. That's too bright. You just missed it. I finished Ark and Forge plug. Oh, Ark and Forge. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so while Connor gets his com uh, his uh, camera figured out, um, what? Oh, don't tell well, me I that. Tell you it's not a uh, not a camera issue or my computer because my computer's detecting it just fine. So. It's apparently Discord not liking it for some reason. Uh, well, we never have a problem with Arkham Forge, so... Arkham Forge, fuck yeah! 
Check it out. Hello. Get your uh, $5 off with uh, mushroom tips. Yeah. All one word, mushroom tips. So, sorry, I just noticed that something was off, and it might be because it doesn't like full screen applications. Um, no, don't go super small like that. Stay normal sized. I just want you not full screen. Okay, that should make it all work. Okay, so welcome back to Magic Mushrooms Mead. Um, this is session nine, episode nine, uh, opening the vault. Um, previously on, uh, actually let's pause this music. Uh, the only next solution I have is restarting my whole computer, but that'd take me a minute, so... Well, I don't know what's wrong with my camera. It's up to you. Have you tried unplugging it and plugging it back in? I think that might have been what ca is causing the issue. Oh. <laughs> what about Discord? Did you drop out of Discord and back in? Uh, yeah, I completely closed Discord. Hmm. That's what I just did. Crazy. Well... Did you try talking to it nicely? <laughs> Ask it politely. Yeah, sometimes um, that works. Why is my password not working? Webcam plugs on for some reason. I do. Oh my god, I got a new keyboard because my A key stopped working on my other one. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's cool. Uh, my keyboard, like when caps lock is on, it actually highlights the uh the caps lock key oh, there's nice. not like a little there's not like a little spot to show that it's on it just like the key is highlighted to show you it's on um did you want to try restarting i don't know how long that's going to take it takes me a minute or to like maybe a minute it's not that bad yeah we can we can wait okay we can shoot the shit for, uh, As I just minutes. logged in, I see how it is. <laughs> Alright, beer. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So let's get that started. Alright. Got some suspenseful dungeon music going. Yes. Oh, and I think is that coming through both? Ah, I need to mute brave. That was the problem. That's why everything was like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> um, <coughs> oh. I had it coming through three things. Oh, fun. Um, and that actually makes sense. That makes sense that I accidentally had it going through three. Alright, so yes, Brave and Opera are both turned off, and um, yep, and I can see audio's coming in for you as well. Nice. Okay, well, um, while we're waiting for Connor, let's talk about... Oh, there's Speak the Devil. Um, previously on... There we go, there's your there's your camera working. Um, previously on Magic Mushrooms Mead, the team delved into Grey Dirge Bank. Uh, let's activate this. Um, they had... Uh, dealt with a couple of the traps inside. Um, I think Ramsey was 
almost killed twice? At least once. Yeah. From a scythe yeah. trap. Uh, mm. They took out the bank guard, um, who was a smoking ghoul, and made their way into the basement, and... Can we die? Venturing forth a little <laughs> bit, uh, Ramsey walked right into another trap as a pair of uh, guardians, stone guardians, rushed out uh, in the shape of uh, vultures, granite vultures. After destroying them, they negotiated um, meat that they can chew, uh, which also tenderizes it for Ramsey. They're basically uh, going to be our butchers. Yeah, basically. In exchange for watching the, the mansion. I, I, I only see this as a win-win here, so... Basically, yeah. Um, I'm good with it. I also previously completely forgot that there are no lights in here, so I've done it now. <laughs> um, oh, okay. After last game. So you guys have only what you're able to see if you've got dark vision or uh, Holra's ever-burning torch. Um, let's see. Also, you guys got a little bit of information from the, uh, the two vultures. Oh, yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, and then, uh, Oh, yes. And Holra is completely out of heals. Just so you're aware. She has... Yeah, but we were pretty sure one of the next rooms was um, the actual vault, wasn't it? Possibly, yeah. yeah but the one below us or something. I can't remember. Somebody told us which one it was. Yeah, yeah these guys but did. But there was something in there. I'm pretty yeah, sure there was... There. I'm pretty sure there was a guy in there. Didn't they mention them stabbing each other or something like that? I don't remember now. Um, so, they mentioned that someone, uh, one of the robbers went into this one over here. Uh, let's just move Hulra right into here so that we can see. Went into this door and didn't come out after screaming. And his oh, friends yeah, closed there. the door on him. And down, down here, I think, was where they said that there was a vault, a hidden vault or something. Hidden yes, door. there's a hidden vault. They told you where the door is, so when you get to the door, you should be able to uh, find the latch oh. pretty easily. Um, Owner. Before uh, before you guys move on, Hulra does ask. Uh, wait a second. Why? Why is there? It's catching a wall from the floor above. For some reason. Um, she asks what what did the other people look like the, the other robbers and uh, oh, I think I called the vultures Eenie and Meenie I think so yeah yeah so one of them says um, they uh, smelled of yeast um, they came, they said they came to steal the ingredient. And, uh, the poisoner really wanted the ingredient. And the poisoner was afraid that the ingredient might have spoiled after being 
in the bank for so long. Since it's so dark down here, can I like light up one of my torches? Yep. That's, um, that's if, what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to see if it actually works. With so anything. if you right click on your character and you get that little HUD, there should be a little flame on the top left. Oh, there we go. My okay, bueno. Yes. Okay. There we cool. go. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. Ark and Forge, fuck yeah. <laughs> so, um, where do you guys want to go? Oops, shit. Where is my character? I can't see shit. They didn't go into the secret vault that the screaming came from, right? Uh, no, the screaming didn't come from the secret vault. It came from the vault right over here. Did you okay. lose your character, Pat? Hold on. There we go. I found my token. Don't worry. <laughs> I was like, I was trying to find that one button where I was like, it would ping my character because it all went dark. And I was like, ah, uh. right? I'm clicking all over the place. Uh, does this, can I like look through the keyhole here? There's no keyhole. I don't want to... um, the keyhole is, uh, if you zoom in a little, there is a little skull right there. That is the keyhole. Oh, can I look through it? It just goes into the wall. Can I listen? Or sniff? I want to see if I can tell, I figure out what would be in there. Uh, you can have a listen, yeah. Um, let's perception see. or perception with disadvantage? Um, there is no disadvantage. Well, technically there is, but there. Um, so I'd argue it's a straight roll here. Not a dog. <clears throat> um, so. Uh, perception is one of the hidden ones, so I did that for you. Um, I've got scent, it's not hearing. Um, so you don't hear anything on the other side of the door. Okay. I'll just go to the guys. I don't hear anything, let's just go down to the other one first. What happened to Ramsey? <laughs> he's standing I'm under, uh... <laughs> he's oh, standing under Hey Mitch's <laughs> legs. <laughs> I told it. I lost you there for a second. Holy crap. <laughs> well, should we go down to the hidden one first, and then we can come back? Yeah. And uh, maybe check out the other stuff. Might be able to, uh, take a breather in the hidden vault, too. Okay. Yeah. Break. So, uh, as you guys are going down here, you do pass two um, open doors. Oh, yeah, I guess that door's open. So the two on the right are open. I'm just going to stick my head in here. Is there anything in this room? Um, that one... Sorry, I got a... Scroll down. Uh, so heavy lock boxes line the walls of this room. All of them are open and empty. I will disregard this room then. I don't care. Okay. This is that other one that must have the same kind of thing there, right? Actually, can I make a perception check to double check all of the boxes are closed? Or they're not yeah. all of them are open? Um, well, there's a dead dude in this one. All right, let me roll perception for Ramsey first, and then we can do the next one for you. Um, they all they are all open, and uh, if you spend if you want to spend a couple minutes, you can look inside each one. But they appear to be no. empty from here. I don't care to look into them. No, okay. I just wanted to make sure they were all open. Yeah, that there was closed one still. Right. right. 
All right, um, hey Mitch, walk in there first, please. All right. All right. Are you dead? All what? Right. No. <laughs> So, you walk into this one. Uh, heavy wooden chests and lock boxes line the walls of this room. Most of the lids are open, revealing the chests to all be empty. A corpse lies near a chest with a torn label in the far corner. Whoa, we can't read what the is label that is. Is that chest still locked? Well, you have to go check. <laughs> So do you want to investigate the chest? No. Uh, can, I, I wanna... can I investigate the corpse first? Yeah. Okay. And Ramsey, is that what you were doing as well? Yeah, I was going to see if uh, he was holding whatever the warning was from the box. Ah. Uh, um, I was going to check his hands. They, they've got little... Looks like they've got little, like, mic, uh, magnifying glasses on them, but there's no check. I did put that... Um, hold on, I want to see, um, so, okay, so it's up to you if you want to aid him, which means that you would have to roll the same check and give him a bonus if you pass. Um, Are we talking about an investigation? Um, I've got a, I've got a plus eight investigation. Or perception, not investigation. What's my investigation? Fixing a couple things. Uh, so I'm gonna make these both that. Okay, so if you want to um if you want to investigate the body. Uh, that would be... Okay, so there are three things you can do. You can do medicine, you can investigate, which would be recall knowledge, which I would roll for you, or you can search, uh, which would be perception. Well, I got perception plus eight, medicine plus six. Don't I have something with recall knowledge? Uh, no. I swear I got something. Or I was probably mm. looking at something. You might have been looking at something. I know yeah. that uh, Hora has a spell specifically for recalling knowledge when she's reading. So, which would you like? Uh, I guess, like I said, all I wanted to really check him for was uh, if he was still holding the warning from that chest, so I guess... Um, what was the one for searching the body, I guess, then? So, yeah, you can search the body for perception. I'll, I'll do medicine. I'm going to just check him on his medicine thing. Okay. Roll me a medicine. And actually, I should. Why did it give me this? Sorry, I probably did something wrong. There. <laughs> now now give that perception. Excuse me, guys. 22. Okay. So. What are you doing? I don't know. 
It made me make where what where I was searching. So I oh. Oh. searched within myself. It made okay. me see. Is what it made me do. Yeah. That would be on me. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. No I'm pretty sure the seek roll is the same as a perception roll. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can do that a lot easier in the future. So, um, on the uh, medicine check, this person died of some sort of poison. Um, it's a middle-aged man. Um, there's... Yeah, there's... The only reason you know that this is some sort of, uh, yeah, that's investigate, yeah. Yeah, that's the... Sorry, I'll just, just put, I just put it up so I can read it. I keep clicking stuff, just keep, <sighs> never mind me. <laughs> um, sorry, I need to fix Oh, so I do have that, yeah, that's my investigation. Alright, so I'll try something out. Yeah. That's just a regular action that everyone can do. Um, so, some sort of, likely some sort of poison. Um, that's all you can get, despite a really high, high roll there. Uh, I, I in, can't even tell, sorry, if he, if he got it like from a spray or from a cut. Nothing. Like that, he, doesn't, he doesn't have any wounds. So it could have been ingested, it could have been sprayed. Not sure. Um, investigating his... or searching his body, you find... Um, you find a journal. Oh, shit. So, um, what you find... Is that exactly what's in here? So, <laughs> what's that? Apparently, that's oh shit and necril. Oh. <laughs> okay. Really? Interesting. So, how did you there you go, that? and there's oh shit and goblin. How, how did you do that? That's pretty cool. There's a there's a drop down right? where you can oh. select uh, yeah. the different whatever languages. languages you know. Yeah. I guess uh, Necril doesn't have a uh, an alphabet. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> so, um. You and find... I don't know what that says because I don't know that language. Yeah. <laughs> it says, wow, I'm talking in Shuni. <laughs> um, so you Are find you a him? journal in uh, one of his pockets. Um, it dates back a couple of weeks. Most of the entries are just describing mundane uh, details of his life. Um, did I actually do a handout for this guy? Uh, uh, there was one other thing. So, um, so it's the weather, people to avoid shopping lists of goods like this one that should be showing up yep don't forget to stop by the tears to get water baby j <laughs> needs mama to be hydrated Whew. What the fuck? all right baby j three apples three grams um, so they're making like uh apple pie or something like that or even like i don't know yeah that's weird. Um, eventually, uh, it's clear that he's down on his luck and desperate for an opportunity to improve his fortune. And eventually, one of the more recent ones has 
a heading that says new job and even has a sketch. Oh, actually, if you scroll down, it's not just that first page. Yeah, because I closed it. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, sure. there's several pages. Um, Am I okay yeah. to see all of them? Yes. Okay. I've just changed it so that everyone's an owner, so you can open it uh, as you need to. So, if anyone wants to read that stuff out, you can. She's a dude bitching about his life. God, him and him and Baby J. I don't know who Baby J is, but he's uh, he's living for her. That's that's what I can tell. Or no, wait, it's she because Baby J. Baby J is his kid, and you know no, his mama is no, trying no, to no. Yeah. her her kid. The corpse. Yep, yeah, I'm assuming the corpse is female because also it says needs mama. So I'm assuming that's referring to themselves in the third person well, yeah but what about this one last day of the year got mama an extra ration of water at the reservoir of tears i yeah. can go thirsty for a day for her because that it, uh, go thirsty for a day for her could be baby j yeah but got an extra ration of water for mama could be yeah. and then the last one got a new job meeting with ghoul named i go to the bath for details, <laughs> CC, Crooked Talk Brewery and Tavern, EG, Eastgate, got some crazy little map here. I mean, I don't also, know why we're we bickering did... over this. Is the corpse male? No, we're not, because this is what it is. It's Watch mad. out for visit. <laughs> what does this say? Yes, Nick? Fucked up a job, he'll get me. So we probably try to find somebody by name Vespnik. Vespnik? Is that you or Uspik? Vespic. Watch out for visit. And we need to find a ghoul named. Watch, Watch out, out for vis. This is for for visit. This the yeah, sorry. Watch out for vis. vis. There you go. Vis. Vespic. Okay, we need to find vis vespic and and m clip to kib. And I'm Interesting. Okay. And then so, there's the map that shows us where it is. So yeah. that last entry, just in re relative to where this happened, today is the 18th. This was made on the 7th. So it was about 11 days ago. And that body's still. still Probably still a little crispy. You know what I think we should do? We should let uh, Hey Mitch go and try to open up that uh, chest. How heavy is that chest? Maybe we'll just drag it out of here. What? Why? So then we can get somebody else to open it up and we don't get poisoned. Did you try our key yet? No, I'm not going open to that chest. It's for a safety deposit box. I'd suggest so, you back away from there, Ramsey. Let's get somebody who's dead already. Go we'll fiddle with that chest. Uh, is there any markings on the chest? Uh, the chest has, um, it has a torn label that indicates it was shipped from someplace called Sallows. Do we know anything about Sallows? I looked at Mitch. Does Sallows ring up at all? No. I was born in South. Hmm. Um, and so the person on the floor doesn't have a key or anything on them, right? Uh, uh, they do not. Okay. And are there any log boxes on the walls that, that are still closed? Uh, in here, no. Um, and hold on, I've got to find the shipment vault. I should have freaking found taken it. I should have taken that feat last time. <clears throat> All right, 
Uh, Ramsey, here's the key. Go see if that fits in there, please. In the in the chest. Yeah. Do, does the key look like it would fit, look, fit in the chest? No, it's it's yeah, okay. way too big. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I really wish that I took that uh, that feat a while ago. Which one's but that? I did not. The shoot lock. Oh yeah. Um, I gotta close this. Okay, go away. Have you tried um, opening it? The the chest? Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna open the chest right now. No, I've not tried opening the chest yet. I would like to investigate the chest for traps first. Okay. Um, and then I would like to open it. Checking for traps I think is just a plain old uh perception. So um Go. Uh, oh, it's it. perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, I can't open it, but I would like to. Um, How do you, you guys get out of this quest thing? Jay. Jay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucking stuck. It's stuck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's nothing to like double click to open it. No, there's nothing. Right. Because because it's not. Uh, that kind of chest. So you open the chest, and um, it is empty, but there is a a strange residue, a grayish residue on the bottom of the chest. Uh, Looks like there was a jar of something that had left a residue, so there's an area in one of the corners where it's... Where did we, we find something? Try to scoop that up. Um, Hold on. Because I have a couple things. I've got like the unusual liquid. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. There so was, was something that you found at the farm. Yeah. A packet of a strange gray paste. Yeah. I don't have that anymore. Yeah, I think I have that. Um, I don't know if we um, can. We can. That that's what it looks like, though, right? That matches it's, that. If you if you pull it out to look, you're like, that's that's the same thing. This is okay. just dried out version. All right. So, so uh, the thing said Sallow's on it, right? Mm-hmm. Which is the place that it came from. It was shipped from Sallow's. Yeah. Sorry, if I don't make this note now, I'm going to forget. Yep. Okay. Um... Is the there is the shipping label? Um, is that all? I guess that I can. I remove what remains of the shipping label and take it with us. Yeah, you can. You can like take a knife and kind of cut out that little patch to get the rest of the shipping label. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take that, and then I guess. Uh, well. We have another lead for uh, the pace now, at least. Yeah. That's good. Um, and all of the boxes in this room are open, right? Uh, yes. All of the boxes and okay. chests and everything are open. Okay. I all right, well, I guess... Can I just uh, investigate the room again, just to find out? Yeah, I can I'll get you to it. roll something. Um, I need that more. So, um, hold on, let me select you, and then I can perception. Uh, you look through, even sniffing, you, the only thing that you can smell is the paste in that, uh, thing there. 
Fair enough. All right. So, um, it is easy enough to find this uh, secret door. Ramsey, come on. So there are two vaults here. One on the left, one on the right. Ramsey, hey Mitch, you guys come? Hello. Oh, oh. Are you stuck? Apparently. I thought it was crashing, but now I think I'm just stuck. Can't move. I haven't actually moved. Well, yeah, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna investigate this door for traps. I know there probably won't be, but you never know. There we go. All right. Still, interesting. Hmm. Uh, it's showing on my screen two tokens for me. It's still yeah. showing me back in that room, but like a hazed out token over that here. Oh, yeah. a hazed out one yeah. is uh, You're like the last time that a creature saw you, I think. I think. Could no, like a fa I guess faded out. I don't know. Yeah. So... Hey, Mitch, open that door. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I just rolled some... I okay. just rolled that We're for good. you. Um, so our viewers, there's a lot of no, we're uh, good. We got it. roll dice, and it scares me. Yeah. <laughs> I used to roll everything out in the open, and yeah. Um, this is okay. actually kind of better because I don't know if I did good or bad. So this, you know, I yeah. can't change my uh, what I'm doing based on it, right? So now I'm just very cautious. So... Hey Mitch, are you open that or you're, you're not going to open yeah. it? Hey Mitch opens it and steps in. Sweet. Wow, this room looks awesome. So, it's gotta be uh, this room resembles the disheveled combination of office and living space more than a bank vault. An ornate bed sits in one corner, and dusty shelves and tables line the walls. Scrolls and journals cover most of these surfaces and much of the floor. Glass jars, metal flasks, ink vials, and a collection of belt pouches are mixed with the other detritus scattered about. Cool. Anything odd that I noticed coming in here? Um, anything odd... Yeah, my my odd thing. Yes. Um There's nothing odd that you can catch. Um just loads and loads of scribbled writings that you can go through. Cool. I'm going to start going through them cuz you know. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a law dog. I like my paperwork. So... I'm, sorry, I'm not a dog. I'm a law shooting. Um, yeah. A blood. Are you going to just skim through them, or are you going to read, read? Well, I'm not just... I'm going to start reading some of them. I'm not going to, like... If, if I pick one up and it's, like, eggs, you know, like... Yeah, uh, of course. Milk. I'm not gonna bother, but if it says something like, "Oh, this is a legal a document," I might, you know, I'll probably take that one, put it aside, so I, you know, I can probably keep it or use it. I'll be, right. I'll be going through it, not super hard, but I will be going through it to put the things that I want to definitely check out, put it to the side. All right. So you do find a bunch of journals that are all about. Great factions. 
Um, well, before we get into what's going on there, a trap door opens above the door, which you were very close to, but not high enough to uh, um, catch with that perception check. Uh oh. And let's uh, get some initiative. The fuck is this thing? It looks like a snake. It's a. It's a. It's like a. It a looks star. like that. Yeah, it looks like a skull snake. A skull centipede. snake. A skull snake it's centipede, like a centipede thing. Yeah, fuck, oh, that's so gross. God. God damn. Um, okay. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> um, hold on. I need to get this plan, and then we swap back to old encounters. Begin. And uh, it's. Oh, I thought I rolled pretty good too. Oh. You you rolled a twenty six. You needed a thirty. Hmm. Oh well, shit. Yeah. If you're if you're if you had been closer, then I would have given it to you with your that's odd. But because you were four away, that's too far. Too big of a circumstance bonus to give. Okay. That's um, all good. No worry. So. This thing falls out, and Holra is immediately Gosh. like, <laughs> Motherfucker. Um, <laughs> actually, let's make sure she does have it. Yes, she does have it in hand. So, target. Uh, I'm going to have to. Uh, there we go. And misses. And she's going to step and then take a couple steps back so that she can get it uh, get it a little easier from further away. Ramsey, you're up. Oh, um, can I? Remove that persistent bleed. I guess I just didn't from last combat. Yes. Uh, there we go. Okay. Removed. Um. Huh. I don't like being beside it. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> uh. It drops one minute after you open the door without saying the password. Oh. And the only person who knows the password is dead. <clears throat> Seems about right. I think what I should do is I could get Holra back in here. I hope so. <laughs> well, it's a ten foot wide door. She can see it. She just wanted to get far enough away that she could blast it instead of being up close. But she's our tank. She's the one that. She's not, she's not the tank. She is not. She's, she's a, a cloistered no. scholar. She's no. a cloistered cleric. She's the not a. Clerics uh, are not tanks. Are yeah. Not, always tanks. not a war priest. <laughs> and they're not like they are in 5e, where a cleric can very easily be a tank. Yeah, no, that's. It's, uh, that's unfortunate because that means I should not shoot it. Uh, so I'm still like beside the door, right? So I can step yep. diagonally. Um, yes, like I could step. It, oh, why, why is it? Oh, because I'm targeting things. Don't be glad. Okay. Well, 
It's not liking me. So I can step diagonally. Still. Yes, I believe so. Out that door. Um, okay. And then I guess I'm just going to. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That that spoon goes <laughs> right through every single rib and hits the ground. Well, that's disappointing. It's been uh, it's been a turn. Yeah. Mm. Um, I have to remember how the misfire works if it works. Um, I'm not sure. All right, How not. Much movement you are much movement up. Do I get? So would I be able to like run out of the room? Um, you would have to run past it. Uh, well, 5, 10, 15, 15, 20. It might. Not every creature does in Pathfinder, but it might. You don't know. Well, I mean, like, Ramsey just went past it, right? Ramsey the used the step. Oh. I mean, you can attack it from there. You're in the corner. Yeah. And you've got someone between to... you. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I targeted it. All so, right. Uh, does 19 hit? 19 does hit. Ooh, bad damage. Two oh. damage. Take that. All right, it takes two damage. And then, okay. So, reflex Actually, save. It, it, it got a that? critical success. Oh my god. Yeah. This is horrible. <laughs> um, uh, I guess the last thing I'll just reload then, right? Uh, no, because you already used... Your oh, your sorry, spell was two actions. Yeah, my bad. I don't know how That's to right. reload my. Get, okay. I'm done. Okay, so now it is this creature's turn. Um. Let me see. Hey, Mitch, help me, man. It's going to attack me. Do your thing. Um, Chop its head off. So... It... Critical success. This is bullshit, man. Okay. So basically, when I misfire, I have to use an action to clear it. And then I can use an action to reload. Okay. Then I can fire it. <laughs> so I uh, so this creature kind of gets up and starts <clears throat> undulating and clattering in a hypnotic rhythm. And oh, I wow. need will saves from everybody. Okay, two fails, one success. Uh, okay, one success and three failures. So, um, Hulra with her success is off guard. Um, and I rolled shit tonight. The rest of you yeah, we're not doing so well. are... We're fine. Don't worry. Uh, stunned one. And... There we go. Yikes. So... Uh, let's put that there. And now 
Hamich um, so has two actions remaining. Okay. And then once he's no longer, that puts him to off guard for the turn. So he steps forward and is going to swing his axe and miss as well. Man. A rolls peak tonight. Peak rolls tonight. Yep. <coughs> All right. So, um, he's a badass. Fuck him up. I just want to make sure off guard until the end of its next turn. Okay. So, uh, she is going to target him and give it a divine lance Pew. attack pew hits she rolled an 11 two times in a row nice well now we, we, we know that she rolled Ooh, six will damage. save nice. yeah was the will save uh, not visible for you guys I don't think so no, no it uh, I think the end result was, but I don't think... Oh, the actual number that she rolled. Yeah. Right. I mean, I guess I could math it backwards, but... Oh, wait. Yeah. It took no damage. Why did it take no damage? Oh. Because it's a creature of light. Because it is immune oh. to spirit damage. She rolled almost max damage on that and did nothing. Mm. She says, well, shit. <laughs> yeah. um, Welp. What else can she do? Hit it with a pickaxe. Not a whole lot. She will have to use her pickaxe. So that is next turn. Uh, Ramsey, you are up. Um, you are now off guard, but you've got two actions remaining. Um. Hmm. Honestly, I think I don't, I just think I don't draw attention to myself this turn. Okay. And I, uh, I take the action, basically hitting my hand against the wall, trying to dislodge the um, stuck spoons, and okay. then I will reload. All right. Uh, so that should be. Okay. Turn then. And you're able to. Yes. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, it takes a moment after I after I click the button. Yeah, sometimes it does. Okay. Caustic blasting. Pew, uh, pew, pew, pew. Alrighty. There we go. <gasps> what about all the scrolls? <laughs> oh, the mother. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're burning a bunch of scrolls in that area, but... I, well, I meant more towards the I door, mean, but yeah. it is what it is. It, it, yeah. it does say creatures. It does specify creatures, not objects. That's true. But it, anyway. it still does a little damage. What the fuck, man? Like, this thing. What the oh, fuck? God. Just oh. die already. You can reload. Okay, so was... Oh, no. Where? That was two actions. Oh, you can't that, reload. That was, that was two actions, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> And now it is its turn. Um, yeah, it's got something right next to it, so it's going to um, put up your attack. shield, Mitch. Put up your shield. Uh, and miss, even though he's uh -huh. off guard. Well, it doesn't have anything else it can do when it's right next to it. What's that? All your rolls are hidden right now, by the way. Um, Except for that one. 
Oh, I'm sent I to public. I lied. No, no, it's all good. It's kind of neat though, looking at this. Mm -hmm. Like you targeted hate Mitch, AC is twenty, but it had that minus two already for off guard. Yeah. So it's just good. No, I I prefer it like this. Ooh, yeah. critical. Critical miss. miss. It bit its own ass. <laughs> it it chomps down and <laughs> it gets a mouthful of axe handle. Doesn't have anything else it can do, so it's just gonna it's gonna go for all three bites and another critical miss. Man, what a loser. Okay. Yeah, At least we're not the only ones that didn't just completely <laughs> right. well, Like we're rolling shittily to hit him. He's rolling great to save himself, but then he can't hit us back, so Yeah. yeah. So it's one of those slap fights right now where we're just mm -hmm. slap fighting each other like that. <laughs> Wet noodles. <All> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, she's stuck. Yep. <laughs> yep. Roll Wet streak. Noodles. Hey, Mitch, rolled seven two times in a row. <sighs> he curses in uh, Necro. That, what does he say? I'm going to gasp a little uh, bit. <gasps> Who would have thought that could come out of your mouth? 14 Give minutes is uh, no, I'll there just, uh, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna pipe in. Hey, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I was gonna go. You can do it, but then I actually I probably don't understand that girl, so it doesn't really nope. matter. You do not understand what he said. So he raises his you shield. Can do it. <laughs> All right. So remove off guard. Um, knowing that she can't do anything, she's going to step over here. Kill the fire. And, yeah, she doesn't have any other damaging, um, spells right now, so... Cantrips, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, being level oh. two. <laughs> Miss. Ah, uh, yes. And... Critical miss. Oh that, my god. That pickaxe <laughs> hits wow. the ground and ching takes a well, chunk you. out. It's probably pretty hard to hit a like a bone snake, but little Yeah, snake. that's right. true. Yep. Okay, yep, yep. Ramsey, you are up. I think we should just call it a trouser snake. Trouser snake. I don't think that's <laughs> I don't think that's well, a very a good description of it. It's made of bone, right? <laughs> It's, you know, it's a snake. I mean, a bone snake is more close than just calling it a trouser snake. Uh, you know. Um, I... I don't know if I want to actually get close to it or not. I, I can't decide if I do. Just try to shoot it. Um... I guess I can, because I can do with that way too, because then he becomes off guard to my next one, I think is how it works. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna shoot. That's good. Um. Hey! Ooh. We finally hit him, and not only did we All hit right. him, we crit him. Critical hit. Nice. One oh. damage. And what the we fuck? Almost... No, it's 13. All 13. Right. I saw the unknown token one damage at the bottom there. <laughs> what does that mean? Unknown he only token. Took one damage. Oh, that's the splash damage. There's, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So if there was another, uh, if there was another enemy there, they would take one damage. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. All right, that hit. And, um... <laughs> <sighs> it's uh, it's injured now, so you blasted it. So I'm going to not step, but move. Okay. Uh, here. Okay. And then I'm going to... Good, 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 
chop him, I think. I miss him. Unfortunate. Damn. Oh, I even did a little spin. <laughs> I tell you, man, those trouser snakes, they're hard to get a hold of. <laughs> you gotta use both hands. Right? He, <laughs> you good for reaching at him for him? <laughs> snatching at him. Snatch is snatching at him, right? <laughs> Alright, ah, uh, shit. I'm gonna try something else. Alright, electric arc. What oh, the fuck? He still succeeded. He, so, you are getting him to roll a reflex save. And he's really reflexive. And he appears to be really reflexive. Okay. He, he appears have... to be very dexterous as a snake. Okay. Fair enough. Do we have three? Uh, yeah, three you're back to three actions, yeah. So you've got okay, one I left. Will... I'm going to shoot him. Oh. No, I thought I loaded it last time. No, you couldn't because you only had two actions last turn. Hey, never mind. I would reload it. I'm done. All right. Only took me three shots to figure out that I can't hit him with this spell. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So now being surrounded by three people. I knew this was a terrible idea. He's going to. Um, I'm gonna do just roll a random uh, dice, but who's it gonna hit? D6. It's gonna be Hora. And then Hora. Hey, Mitch. Oh. One, two. And then Hora. He does not like Hora, eh? Apparently, he does not like Hora. It's a good thing that uh, she's a tank. So, so yeah. okay, hold on, tank. he's got a tank. Um, active shield. Um, no, that's not it. He's got one for being. I know I've got something for him. Devoted Guardian? Oh, okay, so he has to use an action to do that. Okay, never mind. So... Hits. And let's first roll that damage. So she takes six. I don't think the uh, music audio is coming through on the stream. I just realized. Is it not? Nope. Okay. That would be why I've got that set. Um, the problem is that that's doubling up for me. There we go. Now it's not doubled up. Okay, so now Hora needs to make a fortitude save. Oh. Ooh. Unfortunate. Oh. spell prepared. Okay. So she's not going to use that reaction. That 
Oh boy. Um, so she is now because of that dead. No. Mm. Oh. Uh, she <laughs> is. Jumped in the gun a little bit. Yeah, just she a just bit. Got her Paralyzed. Oh fuck. Well, I was close. Paralyzed. Dead. Kind of close. Okay. And it doesn't say if anything happens on future ones. What exactly does paralyzed do? Off guard and can't act except to recall knowledge. Okay. So then she can comes... just stand there and reminisce in her memories. Yeah. Mm. His next attack, wasn't attack by a... which is a hit. And deals another five damage to her. Did roll the map, right? Yeah, two. And then strikes one more time. And because she's off guard, that's a hit. Because she's paralyzed, that's a hit. Yep. God damn. Oof. All rough. You're getting your ass whooped. Oh, she is not feeling good. I'm um, um, um. Yeah. All right. Hey, Mitch. I'll protect you, my friend. <laughs> he had to think about that. Hey, I said, Mitch, you got some feelings for Holra? What's going on, buddy? Says, well, I wasn't going to say my lady, because that is just a little <laughs> douchey. Tip's helmet. Why? Yeah, yeah Tip's helmet, my lady. <laughs> Are you her white? You're her white knight, hey, Mitch? Uh, I guess you are. Damn. Hey. With that crit, we do your white knight thing, buddy. You do your white knight. We hit this thing twice, and we crit it both times. That's the only time we've hit it, and we crit it both times. And... Yeah, <laughs> I think. No, we've you you've hit it three times, two crits, and one. Uh, minimum damage. Oh, I hit it with, I hit it with two. <laughs> yeah, two <laughs> damage. Yeah. First door, right? oh. <laughs> so I did my part. Yeah, you I'm played your part. <laughs> All right, that's a critical miss, and now, uh, Mitch is going to use his devoted guardian. Tell us, what does the Devoted Guardian do? Is he protecting Holler with that? Click it, um, click it, click it. So, I think technically he can, but going by uh, the way that this is all set up, I would say he can't because he's too far away. <laughs> so he's going to okay. do that for... Uh, um. Man. Oh, actually, no. Your last action was to raise a shield. Never mind. He's just going to attack. He's going to take that map two and still miss. <coughs> All right. Halra can do the... Um, well, she can recall knowledge. Um, she's just gonna say, shoot it in the head. Or crafting. Kill it. Murder it. Death. <laughs> so she knows exactly what this is. She knows exactly what's, what this thing is, and I'm just going to hit reveal so that you can see its name. 
but uh, <laughs> she can't do anything about it. And um, with the paralysis, um, you save at the end of each of its turns. Uh, okay. And she critically failed again. Um, no. And now it is Ramsey's turn. Excellent. That's my last Um, yeah. I'm going to, uh, where is it? I keep forgetting that I have this. Um, oh, re here it is. Uh, reloading strike him. Alright. Uh, make sure he's targeted. Strikes. Who? Hey. Hit. Nice. Uh. Six damage. Okay. And I don't know if it bleeds, but it, it bleeds. I don't um. need to bleed. Doesn't need to bleed. Spell. Excellent. I just put the cleaver into it into the center of its weakened skull, and it chop. collapses in on itself. Chop it! Chop it! All right. Let's get Damn. back to that. Okay. So let's. lootable so you should be able to loot that now if you want when I click an encounter um, assuming it's got loot on it the pile is currently empty ah update item pile <laughs> okay so I guess there was nothing in there no there was nothing in it Okay. I, I don't know what what I would expect to get from um, what effectively it would be is a bunch crafting, of bones. It would be crafting resources. I mean, I eat meat, not bones. True. Well, there ain't no marrow some, left yeah. in this shit. Yeah, but you could make a good stock and some soup, right? <laughs> mm. I don't think there's much marrow left in those bones to try and make the stock out of. Okay. If you boil it with some vegetables, I think you'd be okay. It might taste mm. a little dusty, but it'd be alright. Shh. She we has... should close the door and take a rest. <laughs> Hulra has now gotten through it. <laughs> She's like, I agree. Anyone mind if I take the bed? Uh, yeah, yeah. no. And I'm already curling up and rolling. Around. Getting ready, all right. I'll, uh... Edge of it, <laughs> you roll up at the foot of the bed. She's super yeah. short. <laughs> Like you both could probably fit in a small per in a small bed. Well, she's about five feet. Is she? She's a dwarf. She? Yeah. They're medium. I mean, I guess. You keep forgetting that. I mean, you guys are you guys I think are dwarves are just more square. Yeah, they're squat. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So, I believe that there is a aha why can't I move my they can... there we go rest for the night okay um is there a uh There's not like a little cooking yeah. stove or anything in this room, is there? No. Alright. I'm still gonna break apart some of these fucking shelves and do it anyways. Okay. So, um... Perfect. Well, let's start reading and stuff. Okay, so... The stuff that you read in here... Okay, so, 
Um, now that you can read stuff, you only got through a little bit before that thing fell down. Um, yeah, kind of surprised me a little bit. There is a great deal of surface level information about the great factions. Um, their interests, their goals, rivalries, and everything like that. Um, most of the notes pertain to the Tax Collectors Union, the Builders League, and the Celebrants. Um, so uh, you get through it that she didn't consider the Reanimators or the Export Guild to be worth her time. Um, and, uh, oh, here. Give me a society check. Hold on a second, yeah. Society. Should be in the chat. Oh, I was just gonna roll one myself. I was finding it anyway. 19. 25 is what you got. Well, I got a 19 on my dice. True. <laughs> 25. So, you, uh, you look at this and you're like, oh my god, I don't like this woman. Um, so, you really quickly realize that these are the vague disorganized and contradictory writings of a self-absorbed conspiracy theorist. Oh, it's perfect. Do I find <laughs> any, like, weird conspiracy theories? Theories um, that I could, like, uh... Because I love that shit. Well... Put some weird ones in there. One that you find is that the Builders Ooh, League is okay. connected with strange insectile creatures from deep below the surface. Ooh, that sounds right. I bet you it is. You know what one I've also heard? Is that the, this one's probably way out there, but uh, the NFL is rigged, yep. and the Chiefs mm. are going to win the Super Bowl, and that oh, uh, Buddy is going to, he's going to propose or something like that to, uh, what's that girl's name again? Taylor, Taylor Swift. Taylor oh, Swift, God. and that uh, she's going to endorse Biden. Yeah. Apparently the CIA, CIA has uh, been trying to use her as a psyop because she has such a wide range of people. That yeah. Don't. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> um, the Another one that you find is that multiple factions are secretly controlled by Farazman dis, uh, dissidents. What's that? Pharasma is uh, one of the gods of good and actually um, uh, worship of Pharasma is illegal in uh, Geb. Uh -oh. oh, damn. What was that one? Uh, so what's his, how do you spell his name? P-H-A-R-A-S-M-A. May is con... Rolling factions. Um, okay. She also, um, let's see, she states facts and assumptions that are obviously inaccurate and draws conclusions Ooh. that prove her other theories wrong. <laughs> um, so she's totally missing. Yeah, all right. Yeah. She's, but, she's, but she's just she crazy. Really crazy. Is she really crazy or is she really. <laughs> um, so <laughs> among these documents you also discover a recent journal detailing uh, her name is Ty Legmut uh, that's the name of the manager detailing her plans to take advantage of what she's learned with all of this research of hers uh, she was obsessed with finding out some sort of finding some sort of secret contract from the bank's founding. Um, she contacted the Builders League um, and concealed this from the Tax Collectors Union. Um, the Builders League, she's very upset about this, 
rejected her offer to spy for it in exchange for secrets about the tax collector's union. <laughs> then she tried the celebrants pretending to worship Ergothoa in order to get in with them. Um, they accepted and she helped them arrange to close the bank. Uh, she was looking forward to this, but you also remember the uh, letter from her desk where oh, they, they dumped they her hard. <laughs> <laughs> they dumped her hard and then someone with the initials VM dumped her hard and then a oh no VM was uh, from the other faction because they were not happy that she was selling secrets um, that's yeah. why you keep everything secret Don't exactly <laughs> um, oh that's actually pretty interesting oh. yeah is there a way to Oh, I didn't know that I could do that. I'm just going to be like, guys, this chick was, she was all about conspiracy theories. Like, let me read you some. I'm just going to be going all through. I don't know why this is not working still. So, I'm going to have to get a different, uh... Uh, hey, Pat, can you click on the jeweled rice and see if it gives you anything in that thing? Okay. Uh, no, it just tells me what it is. Yeah, okay. It just, yeah, just... So... Because it says I made three, uh, but I can't, I don't know how to apply it to other people. Um, okay, that is... Actually, I technically made, I'm, I'm pretty sure I took, I think I technically made two, because I think I failed one of the rolls. But okay. it doesn't it show it. Who are you giving it to? Though. Uh, I would give it to uh, not, and I would watch him very particularly how he would eat it. Okay, there we go. So there we go. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the ones from uh, Kingmaker need to be done manually like that. Ah need to be dragged onto the person that you're giving it to. So, yeah. If you hover over that, you should see what uh, what he gave oh, you. Make a selection. Do I got critical success? success or no, nope, you got a success, and I already gave it to you. Yeah, it, it, for I some reason sorry, it gave it to you as well. But yeah. Yeah, my bad. I'll just I don't know how to tell you. Haha, <laughs> never mind. It's kind of fun. That's so neat. I love that. <laughs> Thank you for the rice. I'll bow to you, and I'll just put my face into it and eat crap out of it and lick the bowl. Okay. <laughs> Where is it? I would give you a thumbs up, but I don't have thumbs. So. Ah! Why's my journal not opening? So many notes. So many points. <laughs> thumbs. <laughs> 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 Licks the bowl, doesn't have thumbs. <laughs> yeah. you, you've got the pros and cons kind of bar. You know? All How right. come I can't move my guy right now? <laughs> you don't even know what's going on. <laughs> you don't even understand know. the list. <laughs> Try now. Yeah, all I'm doing is getting... Oh, nope. That's weird. So now I got two of me. Okay, that's the same thing and that Connor was having. But I can't move anybody. Uh, I think it was because I had to go back to, um, on the top left, uh, selecting my token again. I do find my token. It's, if I do find my token, it's got two of them. And then you just need to actually select, like, your main token, or what, whatever the... The, your token should be again and that should give yeah, you nothing, nothing's happening like yeah. I've, I've got basically I can drag the window over okay, this guy 
the worst light. Um, did, did we know how long the, uh, the demons take to regenerate their little vultures? You do not know. Mm, okay. I mean, we handled them pretty easily the first time, so I don't think we should be too concerned. But... Those motherfuckers better not be sneaky. <laughs> Uh, oh, who is it suddenly? Hmm. Hiding. Okay, so, um, what would you guys like to do now? I'd like to go through that other door if I could figure out how to do it. Um, so. Uh, we might actually want to take a little time to do some treating of wounds. Yes. Fair enough. Um, so... Uh, treat wounds... Healed you for three. Okay. And then, wait, hers is supposed to be. Isn't it supposed to be D10s? I thought she had a feat that gave her D10s. Alright, I figured it out finally. Oh, no, no, it's all fucked up again. Something about the sequence layer. Gear sequence layer. <laughs> I wish. Alright, I seem and to be working now. Okay, that, that works. So I just went to the sequence layer and clicked it. And oh, then my huge. little shadow person disappeared. And then now I can move my guy again. Ooh, okay. Look how fast I'm moving now. Whew. And... All over the place. For some reason, you sh in a didn't get the extra. You should have gotten an extra five. So you should be at 20. Because she rolled a 26 on her roll. And okay. now... Nope. Target yourself. And then... Do another treatments. Ah, oh, and fails. Well, yeah. Oh, All right. She me, will. But isn't it? If we're taking a rest, it's eight hours. Yeah, and you guys all healed from that. No, but I mean, she could also technically treat wounds once an hour. Could she not? That is true. That is very it true. Takes, it takes ten minutes, and you can do it once an hour. Once an hour. Across. Yep, that is true. Um, All right. So this is kind. That's kind of the part that makes. Um, Mortal healing actually strong <laughs> in yeah. Pathfinder. Oh boy. Yeah, she uh she got a lot on that. And she got an extra five because she got over twenty. So she's full again. And then that means she would have been able to do the same for you. Oh, jeez. 
That's not what I wanted. Apparently typing T when you've got your HP selected fucks it up and changes it to a zero. Oh shit. Okay. There we go. Um, she rolled 18 that time. Oh, you already took that. Okay. Yeah. So your max, your max, and then one for not as well. Yay! Yay for me. <laughs> oh boy. She stabs you. She. Yeah. Uh, what the. She fuck? accidentally pokes you with that thing. God damn it, woman! What the? Ah. Uh... Mm. Last time, she probably poked me through uh, non-cut toenails in the bed. That's probably what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Kicked you while you were sleeping. Okay, so yeah. she did two for herself, uh, two for Ramsey. So we've got four more that we can do. No, no, no. It's ten minutes uh, per person. Well, I guess it, it depends on how long she needs to rest of all of the time. Oh, yeah. that's true. Well, say, yeah, let's just stop it there, because... Well, she would... Be it would take her right? 30 minutes every hour to apply healing to all of us. That's true. Yeah, we don't want to do it for that's how four it would hours. She wants to rest as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, she'll give you... She did those two, uh, along with the two for... Ramsey and one for herself, and she's gonna do one in the morning for you. When you guys get up. Aren't you glad that I did it one more time? <laughs> Gets up in the morning after a nice long rest and here. Um, there you go, yeah. So, uh, okay, she did not quite hit the bonus 10 HP healing. So, you just get. You just get that 18 plus yeah, 5, 18. so I think you're full. Is pretty much my whole life. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that yeah. is my entire life. Yeah. Uh, that would be. Boy. All right, Mitch. Okay. Come on, guys. I'm feeling pretty so, feisty right now. There I really is... got to go outside. I got to pee. So. <laughs> uh, really pee the there is the door there in front of you, which has a skull lock and there were the other two that were locked that you looked at uh, that also had the skull lock so is it actually locked yeah do we remember, they, uh, we never the, the sorry the the skull I didn't really uh, explain this to you the skull has an open mouth and the lock is inside the mouth, and yours looks like the handle looks like a tongue sticking that would be uh, sticking out. Yeah. Uh, can I just check it for you know traps first? Yeah. Um, let me select you. Okay, turn off the target, and then roll your perception. Um, you don't hear anything that could be a trap um well i guess i'm gonna try the yeah. key okay who has the key do you have the key on you uh, i i have the key yes okay i thought you could give me the key in the other room uh, i will give it oh, back yeah, to you too. i will give it back okay. to you you want the key so i'll take I have no the key about it. i'll try um it. Try right clicking the lock on that door. There you go. It says the door is now unlocked. Okay. What the fuck? So, oh something you didn't know when you were checking was that the room was so full of bones that as soon as you opened it, bones rushed out. What the fuck? I'm gonna start dancing around. Are they like fresh bones? Nope, um, you get you get piled in bones because you, you failed the saving throw. You got piled in bones. <laughs> um, so, I get to dance around. Um, 
Yes, so you failed. Uh, Ramsey managed to get out of the way. So, unfortunately, uh, not. Oh my god, not. I'm dead, aren't I? You are just <laughs> fucking landed on you and crushed you. Yeah, guys, this door is safe. <laughs> Opens. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. So, uh, um, yeah, I, I will. I'm dying. Uh, hold on. Uh, she's got a spell specifically for this. Uh, spell, come on. Uh, stabilize. There we go. All right, it so hurts. Oh, it hurts. you lost the dying condition, and now she's going to actually cast a heal on you. Uh, Can you guys, like, get me out of the bones first? Before you... <laughs> well, she digs uh, you up out of the bones. Dig, dug me out. Oh, my God. Some of those pelvises were huge. They just fucking can, crushed she can She can use all three actions to concentrate on this one, could she not? Um, so, the, there's no difference in the amount of healing for each of those? It, it is. It says, on the second one, it says, increase the heal points restored by eight. Oh, on that's two true. actions. I missed that one. Okay, so, let's, uh, select other variant. We will go... Oh yeah, heal versus living two. And roll healing. There we go. That's Hmm. Weird. Not quite applying. Yeah, it's saying uh, just one. Oh, plus eight. I missed the plus eight. Yeah. Wait. Well, or are you just not? Uh, did you just not target him? And maybe that. No, I I was just uh, missing the plus eight on it. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I know. I was looking at it and I'm like, it just says one d ten. It doesn't say two d ten because it's plus eight, not yeah. two dice. No, yeah, not two. Yeah, yeah. And then... There we go. Excellent. So, um, now you can st stand up. <laughs> Alright. So, how are you feeling? I feel like shit. Oh my god. Would I have been able to... to... I guess I have to get out of the way. What's that? Anyway, can somebody else op open that door? Oh, I was just looking at the food gives me um, critical success. No, no, it says uh, if I get a critical success in the next 24 hours, I move 10 feet instead of 5. Oh. I'm eating the juice of rice. So the door is open. You couldn't close it because, <laughs> because that it's it's stuck open now. Somebody go in before me, please, and then I'll follow you in. <laughs> I'm still hurting. <sighs> Whoops. Look at that. Oh, shit. I think you found something. You stepped in and you spotted something. Nice. Small chest. There is a small chest. I swear, Ramsey, you got some damn right. good luck, eh? You're getting, like, everything. I want to I see what it is first. My bones. <laughs> well, you open the door and you're like, ah. uh, take. What is that? The chest. What is it? So the chest is what is. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I don't want that actually, because I'm I'm pretty sure that just overloaded me now. Yeah, 
this. There's two silver pieces left. Whoever wants to take those. I thought I dropped them. I thought I thought I clicked the distribute among party or whatever. There's two left. Eleven were distributed. I guess there were thirteen. I took one. Okay. Ha. Huh. Oh, there's something here. Yeah, small chest. You opening that one? That was what was left on the ground. Oh. That was that. That is the small chest. Oh, so it, I just that, that I just dropped really it open. on the ground and said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just dropped it in the ground. If you want to take it, you can. I just it, it was encumbering me, so I'm not taking it. Never mind. What do we need a small chest for? Is there anything else in there? We didn't find anything else, so I suppose we could try to open up one of these other rooms. Yeah, there's um, two here. What do I need to do to? Is uh, is hey Mitch saying? Mitch, yeah. talk in regular talk, please. Uh, where is? Um, what do okay. I need to do to uh, identify this morning? Sorry about that. Uh. To identify the morning star. Yeah. Um. That is. Do you see a little question mark in your inventory next to the um the the like shirt? I do near the alchemical bomb. I don't. But not for okay. No, not for the morning star. I think this is just that's because that's what the. Okay, here. I'll post that to. Skill checks. Just says skill checks. Skill checks. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so that's going to be a crafting check. Might have to give that to our friend Olra. And same for the uh, bomb. Oh God! Excellent. Yeah, you got no idea about the morning star. Okay. Well, I'm gonna come out into the hallway and offer it to the group and say, "Does anyone know? I found this in the chest." Okay. I know I can't try. I could try, but Olra is probably the best at checking it out. Uh, I mean, it's a nice material, but I'm not sure what. You got some, uh... And what was that? That was... Crafting? I'll check it. I'll try. No one's nope. got a clue. I have no idea. <laughs> <There>. <laughs> uh, is, is Mitch just about encumbered like the rest of us? Um... Or it does anyone... Can can someone carry on, this for me? How much... Just... Things are getting a little heavy over here. Uh, yeah. Where does he my weight again? I've I've got. He's he's past eight, which is his encumbered level. I've got six right now. My max is eleven. Well, what's eight. your what's your encumbered level? Yeah. I don't know. Encumbered so say... six. Yeah, encumbered there. six, right? Yeah, and Halra is six as well. She's just under. I think I'm at five. She's you want to hold it? You can throw can it to me and see what happens. Drop it on you. Yep. There. Am I encumbered? It'll tell you if you are. Giveth to not. <laughs> I like how it says giveth. <laughs> it does not appear as though you are. Yeah, I think it'd be okay. Yeah, it would say on the top uh, top right corner, where it's where the rice and stuff is. Yeah, no, I seem to be okay. Okay, so uh, there are two locked doors. Um, what would you like to do? Oh, Jesus. So <laughs> yeah, there's some spooky music going on. There is. Um. Brad keeps trying to kill me. I swear. 
Here, uh, I'll open this one and I'll reach Thank for you. the key from not. Okay. Yes. So. And I'll stick the key in the. And open this. Oh, okay. no. no magic key. Hmm. So it should. I don't know why it didn't. So we'll do it the old fashioned way. Uh, this and it's is. Music. Yeah, it's picking up in there. Yeah, some sounds happen. Okay, so. Dun, 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 dun. Where is the actual part for. There we go. So, um, you put the, uh, you, 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 sorry, my brain just stopped working. Um, you put the key in the hole, and the, from the skull, uh, you hear a gravelly voice ask, uh, as the eyes glow green on what is greatness built on what honor. is greatness I have no idea money honor do you actually say that I'm thinking in my head um Well, if I go into chat, I will say power. No, no, no fuck that. Okay. I will say food. Hold on. I will say food. I'm gonna roll a highs or lows for you. I know you, you usually say highs. Hear... Yeah, always. But you I want you guys to think about this. Because... I'll give you a couple of options, okay? There's passion, vision, hard work, and dedication. Continuous learning, resilience, integrity, innovation and creativity, empathy and collaboration, adaptability, and impact on others. Great. So, so that's any of them? It has been a while, but when you found the key, it was on a body. Was there anything else with that body when you found it? Oh, yeah. Hold on. I got that thing written down. Uh, cause it had it had paper in it or uh, something in it. Hold on. It was wrapped in leather. Yeah, and it said something. Just give me a sec. Huh. What the hell? Where is it? Session five, I think. I have it written down, but I, I have it written down in a way that I didn't care because my character didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that that was that key. I just saw it. It was the one with the ghost ink, probably. Is the is what I think it is. I said it's from session five, but I don't have any more from that than that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, death. Uh, the key is wrapped in the scrap of leathery skin with the phrase "death and secrets" tattooed in faded green ink. So I'd imagine when he, uh, they ask what does, whatever he says, I say death and secrets. All right. So, hold on, I need to get this. Are you sure it's not either that or Either that or the answer is green ink. <laughs> green ink. So, um, all right. 
So, um, it says the work is never done. Then the uh, edges of the door glow green before you hear the lock clink open. Um, if you open the door, it should do its thing. It did not do its thing. Damn it. I didn't set it up right. So. Okay, like the... Oh, there's a green oh. thing in there. A green, uh, a green flame surrounds one of the tiles uh, and then burns out. I hate that it keeps zooming out. Stay with the party, not the entire screen. Uh, do I have this set to party? Care to get close to him? Why would you get so close to it right away? I just want to see it. I was going to investigate. All right. So sorry, you didn't have time to get that close before it burned itself out, and something else was revealed. There is a uh, um a small two foot by two foot segment of the floor. The flame burns out and that section slides out of the way, showing a, or revealing a small compartment with a single iron tube with silver skulls on either end. A, uh, pardon me, a scroll case. Can I inspect it for traps? You absolutely can. Um, Man, we had the damn password. Do you think it's going to be trapped beyond yes, that? Yes, because I just spoke. Ooh, natural 20. Okay. I'm supposed to roll those for you, remember? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> You're not supposed to know that you rolled a natural 20 on those unless Never I mind. give it away by accident. <laughs> but Sorry. there's no trap on it. I'm going to pick it up. All right, so, um, god damn it, it's moving back again. Okay, so I'm gonna delete that, and then key items. Everybody yes. get in here. So I've got like so many unusual scrolls now that I really need to start checking out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't even know if, if you're spelled like, oh yeah, you are. You should, you've been shooting acid. I'd be like, I don't even know if you're a spellcaster yet. I'm so confused on who's playing what. Aside okay. from this. Just suddenly turned into a spellcaster. So, I just dropped a contract into your, um, I just dropped a contract into your inventory. Should be the last thing in one of the spots there. Contract. Into uh, looking, knots. Right, I, I saw something come up, but I don't see any contract. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, guys. <clears throat> the document is an official government contract between the Builders League and the Tax Collectors Union. Where it would normally indicate a date, it simply states, upon the momentous occasion of the foundation of Grey Dirge Bank, <coughs> the contract is legally binding agreement stipulating the Builders League agrees to grant full rights and ownership to the bank upon completion of the site to the Tax Collectors Union and that its authority regarding all matters concerning the bank is second to the Union's authority. However, there is a final clause which parties from both factions agreed that full authority over the structure and its operation will revert to the bank Builders League if the tax collector's union fails to continuously operate the bank for a period of a year and a day, the condition has come to pass as the bank has been abandoned for two years. So I guess this is now the Builders League's building. All right. And uh, in here... 
the Builders League is uh, one of the great factions, um, tradition-bound architects and occultists. Um, you know that uh, they are, yeah, they administer architecture, civic improvements, and public works, and harbor ancient and occult knowledge. Hmm, like my kind of guy. <laughs> maybe we should give them the, maybe we should bring this to them and get them to get the bank going again, but like, yeah, let us run it. That, right? Like awesome. they can finance <laughs> it, but we get to we can run it. <laughs> yeah. So we get to go and make sure that uh, we're putting all the money into like Tesla and stuff like. That. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is there yeah. anything else in here, like for the lock boxes or anything? Like that? There is nothing else. Every lock box is open. Um and dusty, like. It's almost as though no one has ever used this um, mm. this vault. Fair enough. Okay. Do we guys do we want to try to open that next one up? Uh, it's your turn, and I'll hand him back the key. Oh, hey, Mitch, you want to open that up, buddy? Thanks, pal. You're a great guy. <laughs> Hey, it is, I mean, it is fair. It would be his turn. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, bone chips and bits of rotten flesh are smeared on the frame of this room's heavy door and on the floor nearby. Oh, yeah, this is the one that like, we heard that the person went in and screamed and then... No, that would have nope. been the one up top. Oh, okay, so never mind. That's on the outside of the door, not coming from, say, the under, under the door or anything like that? That's on the edges of the door. On the edges of the door? Like, pushed through almost? Kind of, yeah. Like, probably like the door closed on it. Whether the door went up. Like, do these doors slide up, down? Like, how do these doors... Are they door doors? Um, yes. They are... They're so normal they're vault doors. Door? What's up? I don't know what a normal vault door is. Like, like when I imagine a bank vault door, I'm imagining like you know a ten ton, ten ton vault door sitting on two steel, can. Um, not like that big. big. Kind of pistons. It's it's very similar though. Okay, so we're talking giant so, steel so doors. A, giant steel doors. So somebody getting stuck in the door, pretty much. Possibly. Well. Well, it's nice knowing you, hey, Mitch. I don't say that. Why would you say that? Because I was. It's nice knowing you. I mean... Alright. I'm just going to okay. look to open the door. Alright. Okay, Ooh. so... I don't like that at all. It sounds like dead people. <laughs> he... Takes your instructions and opens the door. Now close the door really quickly. Uh, well, it's too late. Oh, fuck. Uh, as we are going to go into initiative again. And... Damn it, Ramsey. What'd you do? What did How can you even try and play me on this one? <laughs> yeah, I can't play me. Alright. So, uh, first I'm going to switch us back to some boss music. Boss music? Yeah, the boss music uh, uh, playlist, I think, is the oh, best yeah, thought, of the combat ones. Oh, uh, I, thought, I thought maybe we were actually fighting a boss. I was like, ah, oh, love Christmas. I mean, the 
the snake thing was, I think, the biggest boss here. Maybe the the whatchamacallum. Other thing. The thing you don't want to talk about. Yeah, the the guard. <laughs> That's the thing I was trying to think of. Okay, Halra is up. Um she is going to step here. Um, I just want to see, what does, okay, well, that's just how it is. Oh, righty. So, um, something that you guys might have seen popping up in the chat log is it saying things like cover? Yeah, partial cover, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, so when you roll your attack, uh, it will ask for specific things. Let me just choose Divine Lance and attack. Um, there is a spot uh, above where you click roll plus whatever. Um, actually, I'm just going to uh, take a quick snip and I'll drop it in the, um, I'll drop it in our uh, Discord. But in here, we're looking for this. I believe it will look the same. Uh, for uh, you guys, but I'm not 100%. Oh, and look at that. I forgot to... Uh, I forgot to hit send in all of the discords I'm in. Oh, well. Too late now. Oh. Yep. So, use the drop down there. Uh, I just dropped it in... Um, I just dropped it in... in, in Discord, uh, general. Divine, divine spell attack? Yeah, the part that I underlined. Override cover. Oh, okay. So yeah. no cover. Okay, fair right. enough. So whatever cover it tells you that you're going against, use that one. So for Hora, I had to select greater, which means she misses by eight. Would have been a miss by four. And that is all of her stuff. So, not you are up. I can't see shit, eh? You cannot see shit from there. Hmm. I think I will move here. Uh, I still can't see anything. So... Can I... Let's see. I'm gonna put it. Yeah. There. So it's there. Okay. okay. So. Uh, there we go. It it made it. Fuck. Is everything like super dexterous? No, no it rolled really high. <laughs> it rolled really high. It's a bullshit. Okay, so anyway. Um, so you moved and then you cast that. So that's three actions. Okay, so I'm done then, yes. Alrighty. Um, let's get rid of that. And on to Mitch. Who get out of there. is going to pull his axe and don't run up to it back up back up <laughs> um, he's going to make sure there's room for someone else but uh, that and swing it's got 
It should not have lesser cover from there because he is right next to it. Interesting. It might be walls from up above bleeding through on that one. Oh, I think it might have had... I don't know. Uh, either way, he hit. So, damage. Which is going to be 5 damage on that giant mass of zombies. Takes 10 damage because it is weak to slashing. So he's going to roll again. Critical miss this time. And then he's going to raise his shield. And Ramsey, you're up. All right. Um, cannot see. So I'm going to have to move. Oh, I'm gonna like peek the door and just. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. um, it is a shitload of zombies. Okay. So it's just like a, a horde of zombies. A horde of zombies. Okay. Well. Uh, I'm going to um, just shoot these motherfuckers to start. Ooh, crit. Excellent. A couple extras pop out. A couple extra... Like, you thought you only put one knife in, but you also got a fork and a spoon. There's a few extra steak knives. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and... And almost max damage. Almost, damn. yeah. God damn. Bang. 14. Um, and because they're all together, I'm going to also do the splash damage. And actually, that was a crit, so should actually take an extra splash. Should have been double. So, there. Um, Alright. So, that was two actions. Uh... I'm just going to use my third action to reload, I think. Okay. And that is my turn. Alrighty. And then it is the Gargantuan Undead's turn. So, it's got a Haymitch right next to it. And it is going to... Mob. Spare. Mob. Mob. Any configuration. Any enemies in their squares or within five feet. Save. 
succeeds. Okay, so doesn't take any damage and it doesn't have any other attacks. Interesting. Um, all right. Okay, so just so you're just so you know what's going on, there are 60 zombies in this 60. just mashed together. Holy shit. I'm, I'm concerned how many attacks this is going to end up being. Uh, I feel like they might end up being like one or two damage each, but it could be a it's lot. It's a damage. swarm. Okay. So it used it used two actions to try to get uh, to try to hit Hamich, and he kept them at bay. And it doesn't have any other actions that it can use. Okay. So, um, first, let's get rid of that. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> We're done, man. We're done. Well, we're slowly killing some of them. Um, so it's apparently got lesser cover from there. Because of the doors, cool that makes sense. Shit, yeah. um, so... Give us another Divine Lance. Attack. Oh, look at that. Now it automatically applied the lesser cover. And she hits. Nice. Pew. So, give us damage. Alright. Zap with that lance. Now it's badly damaged. Uh, that was all of her actions, so we're on to not. Sweet. Give me one second here. Okay, so I'm probably going to hit the same thing again. Oh, sorry, I was not paying attention. <laughs> no, no worries. I just did it, so it's, we're all good. Okay. Alright, that's a fail. Oh, I finally hit it? Oh, you right. finally hit it. <laughs> hey. I finally hit something, guys. All right. <laughs> Three damage. All right. Take that. And I suppose since I still have oh. one move left. You want to know what's funny? What's up? So. It took eight damage. Three. It took more damage than you uh, hit it with. So Sounds about right. there might be more to this, uh, to this acid thing. Yeah. Um, All right. Damage. Okay, guys, I think I got one move left, right? Uh, yep, good. you threw that out. Uh. Remember to target. Oh, my bad. Um, but no, that was... Yes, greater cover is four. So... What so is 15? its AC? You want, me to just, you want me to just roll again? Uh, no. You rolled a 19. I just need to confirm its AC... So that is a miss. Oh damn! Okay. You hit the you hit the door jam. Fuck! All right. <laughs> <laughs> and let's get rid of that. And then uh, actions. 
swing that he's right next to it. There's no cover. All right. 19 is a hit. And rolls minimum damage. Which is still a decent amount. And so he goes in for his second swing. It's even better. Ice. And slashing damage appears to be... Slashing and acid appear to be the ways to go with this thing. Oof. It's nearly down. Uh, he's going to raise his shield just in case he misses. So it is Ramsey's turn. Kick his ass. Um... Going to yeah, come on. There we go. Shoot it again. Ooh! Slaughter it. Slaughter it. Hell yeah! Yeah. That's a shit damage. Thirty to hit. Okay, so you deal that damage. And kill it so I don't even have to apply the splash. Excellent. I just basically gunned down the last few of them that were standing in the room. Basically, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So, and this encounter. Um, auto assign XP. And then, um, so that and make lootable. So, something that you guys notice as soon as this uh, battle is over, uh, and give me a moment to swap back to our uh, suspense dungeon is that a few of these zombies have precious gems in their foreheads. Onyx gemstones embedded into their foreheads. Uh, four of them do, in fact. All right. Can we peel them out? Yeah. So... If someone would like to do crafting or thievery, I can drop those in. Crafting and thievery. Yeah, I got a 13. Right. I tried. Okay. Anybody else want to try? So. <laughs> Nice. All right, and well. Holra is also going to try and get success on the third one. And so does we anyone want to try on the fourth one? Uh, so oh, I'll try one more. Per, it's uh, one yeah. each. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He can go ahead. Sure. Why not? I'll try. Okay. Oh, again. Oh, so, um, Holra manages <laughs> to get one out. She's obviously taking a little more time than uh, Not is, since Not goes and breaks two in the amount of time that it takes her to nicely get one out. So you've okay. got three broken ones. Oh. oh. Sorry, it just it ended up put me onto that thing. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so three of them are cracked, but you still get them. 
Um, so I've got to uh, change this because we've got uh, zero and one and three update and uh, is that visible to you guys now? Yes, it should be. In the corner there. What's in the corner? Sorry, I'm just treasure chest. I don't see nothing. Oh. Oh, I guess you found something. <coughs> It it should be it should be visible. I do see it. I just okay. can't. There we do you go. see it? I don't see nothing. You're yeah. right next to it. I, yeah, I got no. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why then. Okay. Wait, why does it Obviously, say? Obviously, Ramsey got a great society check. Four. If we chop off their heads, they'll be pre-mounted. Why does it say that you got four of broken? Because I spam clicked it, maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, and it actually it's only showing. It's only showing three. It it it's only showing three total. Okay. It, I, there we there go. You should have three of yep. damaged ones. And one of the good ones. Correct. Um, and uh, yes, so that's correct. Ten each, and then twenty for the other. Okay, perfect. I can. There smell. you go. All right. And that's this room? That's this room. Alright. I'll exit the room. Well. Oops. Well, uh. Do you guys want to check out the, uh. Want to check out the right side? Is there a door up here? There is a door there, yeah. Why does the fuck. Oh, there it goes. That's weird. Yeah, I had, to, I had to put my, um. Thing on again. Ramsey, it's your turn. What? It's not my turn. Yeah. It's your turn. It's your turn. No. Because, or no, no. Um, well, that wait, Mitch, actually. Mitch opened the last one, right? No. I guess it'd be Holra's turn. It's uh, technically Holra's turn, and then it'd be your turn again, and then it'd be my turn, and then it's Mitch's turn. Well, I don't know. I've already got my face crushed, so I'm a little bit. <laughs> so. Um, so I. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway. Which door? Which door do we know that the person? Hold on. Which one? The other. The other one was the one with the creature in it. But the screaming person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah. All right. Paul Rowe opens this one and steps inside. And once again, we've got a wall coming in from above. <laughs> I don't know why that's happening. And there's nothing in here. Um. So this one is uh, fourteen. Uh, this one is literally called empty vault. Um. <laughs> so heavy lock boxes line the walls. All of them are open and empty. All right. Well, well do you guys want to go? Open up the one with the creature in it. And try to kill it. Well, there's something in there. I'll uh, I'll yeah, wave yeah. to our friends. There's there's little bits of like their um, their claws are starting to reform on the uh, two skulls on either end. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it, it, it basically bird feet. Yeah. Yeah. Just just bird feet so far. All right. Well. I'm still gonna say hi because they're still sentient inside yep. the skulls, right? So I'm like, hi. hi. <laughs> All right. Well, 
we unfortunately can't get their help for this door, but. Wait. So. Is it, wait, is that actually a wall right in front of me, or is that? No. That's bleeding in from the upper floor. I don't know why it's happening. I have no idea why it's happening. There's just a little wall. Yep. Just a random piece of a wall. So, so is there any door on the north side? There's no door on the north side, right? No. Okay. Yep. So, okay. not... I'm not opening it. Hey, Mitch, you want to open that? And let's get ready for a fight, guys. I thought it was your turn. My... Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Fuck that. I'm not dumb. I'm... Well, I mean... <laughs> he can unlock the door. Mitch, you can... You can, uh, you can open it. Okay. Right. So, Mitch... Well, uh, uh, the we'll, door's uh... actually already unlocked. Yeah. Okay. Pull open that door and I'm gonna shoot oh, in my oh, freaking. Uh, I'm standing behind him. Caustic stuff. I'm gonna be oh, right here, yeah. right behind you. I'm gonna nope. shoot my caustic nope. stand behind him. as he opens the door. Nope. Stand behind him. Can't. There's something in the way. Yeah. There you go. Alright, caustic blast. Okay. Alright, so. As you open. We'll be prepared. Um, let me just check. I'm gonna look at uh, Mitch and be like, ready, be ready with that shield. And also, yeah. why is it... I don't know, I get a kick out of freaking Pathfinder, hey? This is... Yeah. I don't know, it's pretty good. It's a lot more fun, I think, than D&D, &D, actually. Why does it keep changing the lighting level? It's a lot more involved. It can be a lot more involved. That is, it, yes, it can be a lot more involved. A lot more technical. Figure, darkness, max, save. Jeez. You, you gotta hurry up, because I gotta pee pretty bad. So. Okay. <laughs> well, I was just checking something, and... I just I just need to shoot my load inside that fucking door there. Alright. <laughs> wow. So, opens Crazy. the door, and uh, the deep scratches mar the floor and walls of this vault. Aside from a corpse with a red cloak lying in the center of the room, uh, the vault almost appears to be empty, but there is a creature that uh, looks like this. Goddamn. Yeah. It's like a crocodile panther. Love it. It's awesome. And you Hopefully blast it with... Uh, Caustic blast. A caustic blast. It fails. Finally. Two. All right. Take two damage, bitch. <laughs> Fuck. All right. And now we. And... Now we do. Um, what the hell is it called, right? Uh, initiative. Initiative. Yeah. Okay. And let me select you guys. And. Go into here, okay. Roll initiative and then run to the washroom. Yes, I'll be right back. And of course, not is second. So that blast hits it. It screams out. In uh, pain. Mm. And, uh, well, hopefully me... it wasn't, you know. Well, I mean, it seemed to just attack people on site, so... I'm kind of also murder help doing this. You are just a bit. And there's nothing wrong with a little murder hoboing. I mean, to be fair, we got told someone entered the room, got brutally murdered, and locked in the room with alone. So we didn't get context from of from before what happened than that. But I mean, I'd rather not get brutally murderized. I'd rather brutally murderized. 
just saying. Um, Should be in a different order. Um, I'm just Waiting for not because uh, I want him to hear what happens as well. Okay. Uh, so um, I'm also going to. this oh, update so okay I'm not gonna wait for him as soon as that splashes it screams and then it uh, actually what in languages does it speak oh I don't think you know any of the languages that it speaks so, ha, bitch. All right. All right. Sorry, guys. So... What's the plan? What's happening? Something's gonna kick my ass, isn't it? It screams and then says that in a very uh, chthonic uh, language. And then we will, I guess I could have swapped to the combat music. And we are starting with Hulra, who is going to target it and uh, give her another Divine Lance. Pew, 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 pew. pew, pew. And miss. Ooh. So there's not much else she can do from here. So we're on to not. Oh, Ooh. Oh. I shot myself in the foot. Yeah, anyway, so pretty, that missed. pretty much. <laughs> and then I'll try. This should be it for my head. Okay. Um, it just saved. Ah, okay. That's it for me. All right. And Ramsey, you're up. Um, yikes. Um, we should just close the door and leave. <laughs> we do it for the biscuits. All right. Uh, so action one is one, two, three. Uh, action two is going to go. Oh, uh, damn it! Whatever, I don't care. Let's do it the in this order, anyways. Ooh, excellent. Nice. Still hit him. Oh, for max damage. Oh, wow. And then, um, we get that, so he, uh, does not get to 
attack me when I shoot. Okay. What? my turn. Uh, sorry, I gotta block someone, a bot, trying to sell promos. Um, I don't think I can quite do a full-on I can't remove the message in uh, Streamlabs. But, uh, yes, you hit. So... Blam. It takes that six as well. And then as it comes to its turn, it takes that bleed damage, screams out in another language I don't think any of you uh, understand. And... Uh, Um, what is that language? Because I can read the text and I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to. No, I should not. Never mind. It's diabolic. Yep. It actually um, highlighted when I hovered over it. Oh, it popped it? up. When I hovered. Yeah, it popped up when I hovered over it, so. Oh, interesting. You still got one unal unallocated language. Yep. But I'm not going to learn a language in the middle of a dungeon. Okay. In, in the middle of a battle, in the middle of a dungeon, I feel like that's a little um, unrealistic opportunity to <laughs> learn a language. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I remem remembered basically at the start of walking into the bank, and I've been reminding myself that I have to do that. So uh. walking through the bank is not a, an opportune time to realistically learn a language. So Okay. Where does this say what languages I know again? Um, on the main tab. On your main, yeah. Alright, so this creature turns to you and is going to bite at you. No. Rolls <laughs> rolls a 30 to hit. Yep, yeah, that's about right. Yep. Which is a critical hit. Um, luckily only 13 damage. Yep. Um, and then... Um, where is... The... So that doesn't work. Bam. Alright. <coughs> oh um, god. What is he doing to me? Did you just move? No. That might have been me accidentally doing it? Oh. It applied grapple. Okay. Thought that there's supposed to be. I figured it would bring this up. Okay. So. Um. There we go. There we go. So it did successfully grapple you. So yes, you are now grappled. That is its second action. And 
This may hurt. Um, although it looks like it doesn't deal damage. So I need a uh, will save from you there, Ramsey. Okay. Nope. Luckily it's not a critical fail. Um, so you feel your soul being sucked into the jaws of this. What you can actually see now is a mask that this creature is wearing. Um, you can't exactly see its face, but it's a mask. Uh, and then let's apply on to you. Uh, so wait, there's like a mask on a furred creature is, a set, is basically what this face is. Yeah, this crocodile skull face is a mask on this creature. This sort of purple panther, as you say. And you are paralyzed. <clears throat> I'm being treated like a ragdoll right now. And that is the end of her turn. So. Oh, and got a critical fail on the uh, persistent bleed. So, Haymitch comes in and is going to try and hit. Definitely hits with a 21. Uh, minimum damage, and it just growls back. So he goes four, strike two, missing. I keep going for a second strike instead of raise shield and then using devoted guardian. <laughs> um, so he's just going to. Wait, does he actually have. Oh, I forgot about this. He does have a spell. He uses his touch of corruption. Which is a fort save from her, which she fails. So roll damage. And minimum damage again, but she takes one void damage. Huh. But she's apparently immune to void damage, which I didn't realize. He also didn't realize. Oh, she's not immune. She's resistant. Just needs to deal more than that. Okay. So, we are back up to Hulra. She is going to... Uh, she's going to target him and target her and fire another divine lance. Do what she can. Miss. Uh, she's going to come in here to get around there. And not. You are up. You might want to get a better position so that you can see it. And that way it doesn't have cover. And make sure to target before you attack. And let's see. 
We'll just, yeah. Alright. Click save. Again, rolled exactly 16. Nice. Oh, nice. Who's that? Well, no, it was a Did success. Sorry. Oh, well, my bad. Alright. <laughs> then, uh, never mind that. Alright. Um, so that was. Uh, that's three actions for you. So we're on to Ramsey. You are paralyzed. So you can do... Really, you can do nothing. Recall knowledge and use actions that require only your mind. Well... Uh, I think I'd die. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, can I shout out, uh, summon, what's his name? Smoke? Um, frozen? Place. It is a word, I think. Your senses still function. It doesn't say that doesn't say that you can't speak. So I'll say yes. Um, so, think I added it? Yes. Um, in your, when you have your sheet open, up at the top, you see companions. And then hover over his picture and click that, and then you can select where he gets summoned. Um, I don't see companion. On the header? Oh, there we go. Oh man, that's a cool oh. effect. Uh, he's a jackal. Jackal. He's a jackal. He's jackal. a jackal. Um. Okay, so let's roll initiative for him. And he's going to be after Hamish, but he's there. All right. Poof. All right. So, um, you are. Grabbed till the end of attacker's next turn. Okay. So she is actually going to let go of you. still paralyzed from that happening um, but she lets go of you just want to check oh um, I forgot to do this for you so roll that will save see if you come out of your paralysis nope, nope. still par paralyzed alright so she is turning to Mitch, ignoring everything else. Uh, it's supposed to be her targeting you. There we go. And she goes for a bite. Ooh, critical miss. And... She's going to then go in to strike with her paws. She is going 
full bore against him. Doesn't care that she keeps missing. She is screaming out. And let's go to her next language that none of you probably know. Uh, there we go. This one that she just screamed out sounded almost like song. Like, well, I guess. See what I know. Do I know it? I don't know if I know it. Um. Uh, what languages do you speak? I don't believe any of you speak the languages that she does. Nope. Not even close. Um. So Mitch's turn. He's. I'm gonna fight back. But he's also gonna miss. And he's gonna miss again. And he's gonna raise his shield. Um, oh, shield is still raised. I don't know why it didn't come down. Shield and smoke. Bite him, smoke. Bite him. <laughs> Murder. Uh. Hit. Ha. Uh -huh. And almost max damage as well. Um, I don't know how many attacks he gets, though. Uh, he has three actions. Does he, as well? Yeah, okay. so it's just gonna be the map. Yeah, that's... a miss. Mm -hmm. Goes for the tail, and the tail, like, any cast, just whips out of the way. That is Smoke's turn. Okay. Um, Hora seeing no, what's going question. on. Yeah, go what, ahead. What what languages what languages did it uh, talk again? Uh you don't know. Was one of them uh Taldane, Infernal, or Az Azanti? No. N not any of those, eh? No. Okay, never mind. She's gonna run up and go for a hit and hit. Okay, three damage. I'm actually, not sure. What health she's on. Okay, she's still up. So, Homer goes in for a second one. And crits. Okay. Hey. And Are it's a deadly... Her, her weapon is a fatal D8. So it normally does d4s when <laughs> when she's uh when she crits it does d8s. So she deals 
15 with this one. And Ready. kills it. This time the pick just right in the head, right behind the uh, the mask. Oh, uh, well, shit. And uh, that is the encounter. And Good. I'm just sitting over here, like paralyzed on the floor. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was a, that was an easy fight. Yeah. Well, if you guys had gone in there immediately after fighting the vultures, she would have started invisible and gotten a surprise round on Alia. Huh. I wonder if we could have made her our friend. Or our friend. Oh, well. You could have, if you hadn't attacked her immediately. Oh, shit. That's so, I'll tell you about her. Uh, what I'll tell you is that if you had not attacked her for three rounds, she would have stopped being hostile. Mm. But she would have been hostile and attacked during those three rounds. Uh, oh, well. So, she is now lootable, and as for you, Ramsey, um... Not letting me come back to my character. Give me another will save. <laughs> Rolled seven twice in a row. Excellent. Can I inspect the body? Yes. We'll just see how long it takes for Ramsey to get <laughs> in. <laughs> Rolled 11 two times in a row. <laughs> a crit fail. Okay, one more, and if you don't get it, then we'll just say it'll be a couple minutes, um, and it will be... Time for, my will, uh, my will saves are not the best. Oh, my God. oh there you go. And you just got it there. That was the DC. E. Okay, so I need to remove that. And Good. That. Okay, so inspecting the body. Oh, I don't need. The Shambler troop open anymore. Um, are you inspecting the human body or the body body? The creature the body. body. Okay. The body. Inspecting the human body. As I become unparalyzed, I'm going to be like, <laughs> it's the <a> mask. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you double click on the uh, body, you'll find two things in there. Uh, yeah, I ain't getting nothing. Double click on that corpse. Yeah, I, I could probably click on the body of the creature, but I can't click on the other body. Okay. Try now. Nothing. Seriously? Okay, well, I'll tell you what you find. Um, right. So, you discover a small hip flask containing uh, something you're not quite sure. Um, it has an insignia on it, a coffin with its lid askew, and because you have, because you spent time upstairs with the local records, you get a plus one on this check. All right. Yeah. 
Did I click it? I don't know. Did you click it? Uh, I clicked it. Three dirge lore, right? Yep. Nothing's happening. I can click it for you. Yeah, just click it. Probably a better rule right now. Oh. Unless mine is going... Oh, father. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's just not uh, rolling because it's lower. So you should have. That's why it's not working. Is because it's. Um, so it should be intelligence. Okay, what I'll do is I will add. Uh, is that, that new lore thing, is that it? What's that? Oh, uh, I see it. It's in my gray, in my lore skills, it says greater. I literally Plus just two, added it for you. Alright. Ooh, brutal. Okay, so you don't know Four. where that's from. Okay. But, you get that hip flask, and... Uh, he is also wearing a strange mask with a bunch of um, holes along the sides. I'll toss that in your inventory as well. Alright. And Ramsey. I'm dying on the floor. Not dead. <laughs> Not dead, dead. <laughs> Smoke comes over and nudges you. All right, all right. I'll like put my arm over him and like use him to help me get up a bit. Um, did he take the mask off of the demon or devil dog or whatever the hell that thing was? Nope. Nope. I've just been on the human. Took okay. the mask so off the other one off the off the creature yeah off i was the, like yeah. Off the, he took the mask off of the uh human yeah yeah but i'm, I'm gonna take the mask off the creature okay so on your dog this mask appears to be fused to the skull It's obviously a mask, but it is yeah. a part of the creature. Almost like it grew into it. Hmm. You should try to cut it off and put it on I was going to say, yeah, like, even if I was to butcher the skull to cut it off. <laughs> you could do that. Uh... Because I'm like, it seems. You know what? No, screw that. I'm gonna bu I'm gonna butcher the animal in a way where I take the whole head. Okay. I'm not gonna rip the mask off. Um. Yeah. In that case, I'm. Yeah. I'm going to ask for a cooking check. Oh, Oof. we low rolling. Everyone's rolling low today. So the blows that it took kind of uh, messed it up. You can still get the ingredient that's on it, but the mask, especially that last hit from Halra, kind of broke it. And okay. it's not, you're never going to be able to get it intact. All right. Unfortunate. Oh, shit. Um, and in the meantime.
meantime, uh, I'm going to get uh, Hora to do that and also Mitch. Mitch says, oh, this, this poor creature, not that I care much for it, given what its type does to my type, but... I'm not familiar with this creature, what is it? It's known as an Esobok. Points to a few scars. It looks like it has been mistreated. Mm. It may have been stuck in here for some time. Especially given the marks on the walls it tried to get out. They are monitors. Psychopomps. They work for the uh, the goddess of death. Um one of the goddesses of death, specifically the one who, um, who judges where a soul should go after death. Esabox, in particular, are sent after undead. Interesting. So did we well, end up pissing somebody off? Possibly. They're... They're... Somewhat like angels or devils. Well, uh, it, they probably assumed it was already missing as it's been... At least 11 days since the last people were probably in here. He, he looks around at all the scratches and he says... More like the two years that the bank's been closed. Not. Alright. Poor thing. And we are at nine o'clock. So we're gonna call it here. I'm gonna hit space. Did you want to take the special ingredient from her? Uh, yeah, I will. But I couldn't pick it up. Can you not double click and pick it up now? No. Oh, I, I was gonna be able to do that last time. Oops. Weird. It's not working like it should. Well, I will drag and drop. All four, there we go. Alright. Update pile. Okay. All right. So, um, my computer's struggling. Oh, oh. Mm. better wrap it up before everything dies. I think. Pretty much. Um. So, thank you for joining us. Um. Yeah. Please let's. Uh, yeah. Did you want to tell them about? Uh, our friends at uh, Arkham Forge. I'll tell you what highs or low. Highs, always if highs. If it's highs, if it's highs, you get it. If it's lows, I get it. Oh, Brad, you're up today. But... I'm up today. Oh, ah, you're up today. <laughs> okay, let's hit play on that and play on this, and then let's open this and. Um, we are an Arkham Forge affiliate, so Hell yeah. about the Arkham Forge token. Yes, be my peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is uh, the Arkham Forge toolkit is a one-time payment. There's no subscription fees. You can use it fully offline. Install it on an unlimited number of devices with a single purchase. You can easily yep. import and manage your own content. Uh, build fully animated maps with real-time lighting like you can see there. Uh, hook up a TV or projector to play in person. Manage your campaigns with a robust linkable note system. Uh, set the scene with immersive audio. 
Uh, you get a full commercial license for exported maps as long as you have that license for the assets that you use. All of these official Ark and Forge assets you can see right here are uh, commercially licensed. Also, as you can see right here, it's uh, touchscreen compatible for use with physical minis. But so, Brad, what does that mean about the licensing? So what what can you do with that licensing then? Means you can sell that your means... map. Damn, there you go, guys. Yeah. That's awesome. You can sell your map and don't owe them anything. Something? That's you know, that's something that's uh not very often nowadays, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Everybody wants their piece all the time. Um so if you go to arkenforge.com and use code mushroom tips, one word you can get $5 off of the Ark and Forge toolkit. That's either the fantasy or sci-fi starter pack, which includes the Ark and Forge toolkit, and either the fantasy essentials or sci-fi essentials content pack, or you can get the ultimate bundle, which includes the fantasy and sci-fi essentials packs, and 32 gigabytes of additional mapping and audio content. There's also a 30-day free trial, and I hear a little one. Hey, good night. Say Ark and Forge, check Ark it out. Ark and Forge, check it out. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good night. And, uh, yeah, there's a 30-day free trial, so you can give it a try, uh, and when you decide that you do like it, code mushroom tip also works for the uh ultimate bundle um yes. once more that is mushroom tips one word uh, mushroom tips. also just to shout out the music that we had playing throughout this the combat music and the dungeon music were uh courtesy of tabletop rpg music um check them out at patreon.com slash tabletop rpg music yeah, for all your tabletop or music needs, because they're badass. All that music is amazing. That it's music has been incredible. really good. But also Ark and Forge, fuck yeah. Because Ark and Forge, Forge, fuck yeah. I mean, the maps are awesome. The music's awesome. I don't. What else could we need? What Probably else can you a, ask a better, a, a better not dog, not a dog. <laughs> but uh, I'm working on it. I'm trying. What? <laughs> all right. <laughs> So, thank you for coming. When you just yeah. admit that you're a dog. I mean, what? Thanks well, for joining us. I said not a dog. <laughs> and eventually, you'll, you'll uh, uh, Patreon us too, and then we'll be eventually we'll be bigger yeah. than uh, yeah, bigger than uh, Critical Role. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Always, always, cool. always yeah. cool. Aim high. Mm -hmm. If you aim for the moon, you, moon you can't miss because uh, you'll, you'll land him up the stars. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. that's, that's right. pretty sure it's supposed to be. And all right, have a good night. I'm sending you guys straight to Rin Vixen because Rin is awesome. And yeah, see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> go. Back to Twitch, and here.